All right, so here we are. Here's my cursor, top right hand corner. Yeah, this is the different software. So, okay, so now we're gonna look for Uranus again. Um, but before we do that, let's go look at the date. Top left hand corner, look at that. January, January 22nd, 2023. So where's Uranus now? We gotta look for Taurus energy. There it is. You see the Uranus, you found, did you find the Taurus energy? There's Uranus, bam, right there, 1456. So Uranus goes back four degrees, like exactly, 1450, 1855 to 1456, right? So it goes back four degrees and that's normal. It doesn't move a whole bunch because it's a slow moving planet. The slower a planet is, the less degrees it's going to move when it does a retrograde. That makes sense. Now, what's happening on this day, January 22nd, 2023? On this day, we have Pluto. Look. Pluto, January. Pluto is at 28 degrees. The United States Pluto is was at or is at 27 degrees in Capricorn. Um, we see the sun 244, and this is group energy because it's Aquarius. It's the sun, so it's somebody in charge. It's an authority figure. Now, what else is going on? All right, we're looking for 14 degrees. We want to see if there's going to be like any squares coming up off of the Taurus energy. So 14 degrees of Leo would be the thing. Look, nada. There's nothing here at 14. So that's good. And then we're going to look for 14 in the opposite of Leo, which is Aquarius. 14, 14, anybody, anybody? Nada. There's nothing here. You see that? Uh, 14 would, yeah, like be right there and there's nothing. We've got the moon, which moves very fast, so that's not going to be part of this. We have Saturn that's already at 24 degrees in Aquarius, but look, 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 look. Saturn and Venus are together at 24 degrees, so you can expect to hear something big. It's a conjunction, which means they're on top of each other. So uh, yeah, January 20th, January 21st, we may hear something. Look, Mercury's in Capricorn, something from the government, politicians, politics, we're hearing something because uh, it's news, Mercury, it's your mind, it's what we talk and think about. Capricorn is uh, not just the government, but big businesses. That's Capricorn energy, it's boss energy, you know, it's the one in charge. Capricorn, it's the goat, it's your goals and ambitions. But there's no squares. Uranus isn't squaring anything. So let's let's see the next uh, uncomfortable thing, which would be like what we call that quincunx energy. So yeah, that's like five signs away. That's like a shortcut. So my mind is looking over at Libra energy, right? Um, we have Cirrus that is not at 14, but it is at 628. So that's seven degrees away. All right. So that's seven degrees away from creating a, uh, what I would call a quincunx energy. This Cirrus, as it goes forward, it's when it gets closer to the 14. I see Black Moon Lilith down here. You see her there? Black Moon Lilith is at a critical degree. She's at 29 degrees in cancer. And the sign of cancer is your family. It's your home. It's feminine energy. Cancer is a woman and her ability, like the ovaries, the ability to have a baby, to make a baby, to create a home within herself, within her body for that child. That's the sign of cancer. And so we see we have Neptune at 23. Now, in the past few months, right, December and November, we were having some difficult times because of COVID. Any breathing difficulties, all right, we're going to put it like that. Anything that requires somebody to be ventilated, right? Or just, yeah, they can't breathe. Because the United States has their own Neptune right here at 22 degrees. And that never moves. It's always there. So anytime you have the transiting Neptune in the sky, getting to that 23, 22 degrees in Pisces, in exact opposition of the United States Neptune, uh, yeah, Virgo is health, right? It's your health. Um, it's also uh, health care. It's health care. You know, Pisces is hospitals, the doctors and the hospitals. 
uh, Virgo energy is the staff. It's the nurse, right? It's the domestic part of that. December, November. Um, yeah, I already gave alerts out about that. But yeah, there was probably going to be an increase in uh, people being in the hospital or people experiencing breathing difficulties. Definitely an increase in people needing to go see the doctor and using medications, Pisces, substances, Pisces. All right. Uh, again, Mercury within the government, within big business, it's our goals, it's our ambitions. So that's what we will be hearing in the news. Could be government officials. But keep your eye on Pluto because it's going to hit 29 degrees, folks. And it's not going to be a really quick thing. Pluto's going to hit 29 degrees and then it's going to actually go into the next sign, Aquarius. Yeah, this happens in the year of 2023. And then it's going to retrograde back into Capricorn again. And it goes back to like 28 degrees. So this degree that Pluto is hitting is the first time that we're going to be experiencing this, this 28 degrees in our lifetimes. This will be the first time we're experiencing this. So I would think that we absolutely are going to be encountering some things that we may feel are shocking, Uranus, because Pluto's in a place that it hasn't been in our lifetime. And it's big business and government. It's people that were in power, people that are in power, people that used to be in power because it's Pluto. Pluto is the past, but it's all about uh, soul stories, soul's histories. It's all about people who who are used to always being in power, or I should say maybe always getting their way, and and the abuse of that power. Because Pluto operating on a really high level is about altruistic actions. It says, I know that I have to be the umbrella. I have to look out for the group. I can't just do this because it's what I want. You know, think about Think about government, right? Think about what democracy means. Think about how it's supposed to function, right? There's that whole system of checks and balances created so that nobody is allowed to abuse their power, right? Pluto is there to check off the list of who has been abusing the power that they were gifted with. And the thing with Pluto is it takes that power away. And it does it at the very root level. It goes to the root and it pulls it out. You remember a gardener, think gardeners, go into their garden and they start weeding. They got the gloves on, they got the shovel, they're digging, they're digging the weeds out, but they don't, you know, they know they have to get to the root of it. Otherwise, a couple of weeks later, it's there again, right? So Pluto's job is to recognize, to discover where these weeds are at and then to start de-weeding. And that would be within big business, big government. Pluto is cleaning up. Now, Uranus is going to go forward. You see how it's the, the numbers are black? So it's going forward now here. So there's another chart we have to look at, and that would be when does Uranus get back to 1855? So let's let's go check that out. So below the video, I'll have all the degrees for those of you who like to pay attention to the degrees in your chart. Again, if you don't know and you want to know, just comment below.